Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I went to the hermit's nest and talked to Yan Xing. Oh, good. That means he's still safe. And what of my father? I didn't get that far. I'm sorry. What? Why not? Yan Xing wouldn't even open the door for me. He's pretty terrified. That's terrible. We haven't found a single clue about your father. True. I can't even find those thugs. They all. We've got nothing. What the hell do we do now? Calm down, Liu. Anger won't get us anywhere. But... Clear your mind. Huh? This is what my father would say. When you're stuck, throw out everything you think you know, and approach things from a different angle. Is that what he would do? It sure is. And you clearly feel pretty stuck. You can say that again. I'm going to go see Yan Xing again. Maybe this time I can get him to calm down and talk to me for a minute. Okay. Hmm. A letter from Shenhua. Theo, I've left early to take care of some things. Come to Ternary Spring later. Ternary Spring? This must be the way there. There you are. Hi, Liu. This is one of my favorite places. I come here whenever something's bothering me. The tree protects me. What the? You all. Did you just say Iwao? That was my father's name. Ah, I see. Well, you're the spinning image of him, I'll say that. You knew my father? What is this mark? Iwao made this mark when he was practicing his punches. He did. How is Iwao? Is he well? He was murdered. Oh. By a man named Landi in Yokosuka. Landi. Do you know him too? I do. His real name is Zhao Long Sun, the son of Zhao Sun Ming. Zhao Sun Ming's son? Look at this photo. This is Iwao and Zhao Sun Ming when they were young. They both trained here, sharing techniques and getting stronger together. Lan Di said that my father killed Zhao Sun Ming. Frankly, I don't believe it. I know better than anyone that he was not a man capable of murder. Visit Mon Yuan Temple. The resident monk there might remember more about Iwao. Liu. Shenhua, what's Mon Yuan Temple? It's a long standing temple in the village. Where is it? Go back to the village square and walk past the bell tower. Got it. You go ahead. I'm going to stay here for a few. Okay. I'll see you later.
Pardon me. How may I help you? Do you remember a man named Iwao Hazuki? Hazuki? How do you know that name? Iwao is my father. I had a feeling I knew you. Do you remember anything about my father's time that he spent here, in the village? That was almost 20 years ago. He came here all the way from Japan to train with a companion of his. This one. Ah, oh, yes, this young man. He and Iwao often came here together. His name was Jo Soon Ming. Do you know what happened to them after they trained here? Only that they suddenly stopped coming to the temple. I don't know what happened, but I didn't see them in the village after that either. Do you remember anything else? Ah, oh, I may still have an Ima Iwa wrote. Really? I'll go take a look. Yes, please. This is where we keep everything related to the history of the temple. Please have a look around. Thank you. What a well-behaved cat. I wonder how Fang Mei is doing right now. Is. What a sly pose. This is. Oh, this is. What? The Verdant Bridge? It must be pretty old. Hmm? What the? <sighs> Who exactly are these people? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Hmm. Have you found anything of interest? This photo here. Ah, oh, yes, that photo is said to be of an Imperial envoy dispatched to Bailu village by the Emperor himself. What are these crests on these banners? They represented the will of the Imperial family. A dragon for the Emperor, and a phoenix for the Empress. It is said that the Emperor of the time revered the dragon and phoenix greatly. Why was this Imperial envoy visiting Bailu village? I'm afraid that is all I know. Would you mind if I borrow the photo? Oh, hmm. It wouldn't hurt to show a bit of faith in Iwao san. Please take it. Thank you. I'll be sure to bring it back to you. Hold on, take this too. Your father left it as an offering for the temple. I cannot read what it says, but I hope that it brings you some comfort.
I should show that picture to Shenhua. This is the Varden Bridge. Nineteen ten, the second year of Shuen Tong. That's the year it was finished. It's pretty old then. The resident monk said it was built for an imperial envoy that visited by Lu. Look at the flag and the mirror. These patterns match what we saw in my father's quarry. This might help us find him. Is there anyone who might know more about the bridge? Elder Ye probably would. Who? The elderly lady who makes medicine for the village. She lives near the village square. Perfect. I'll go see her tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liang? I should go see Elder Ye tomorrow, right? Yes. I hope she'll be able to give us a lead. Yes. Good morning, Liao. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? Headed to the village? Yeah. I need to check out the Verdant Bridge. Okay. Thank you so much. See you soon. Excuse me. You there. You're that boy from Japan. I need your help with something. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? The Verdant Bridge? The Verdant Bridge, you say? All the villagers told me you would know something about it. And why is that? I'm curious about all the stories behind it, and the past in general. Why do you want to know about something that happened so long ago? What? Actually, I... I have nothing to tell you. Just leave. Please, I'm begging you. Are you deaf, boy? I have nothing to tell you. I need to know. I told you to leave. <sighs> Very well. Sorry to bother you. Guess I'll have to find another old-timer. Excuse me. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? What do you mean by anything? I'm curious about all the stories behind it, and the past in general. That bridge has always been there. I bet everyone in this village has at least one or two memories about the Verdant Bridge. Okay. Thanks anyway. Hello and welcome. Oh, did you come alone today? Yes. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? I'm curious about all the stories behind it and its history. <laughs> so you figured you'd ask an old person. Well... That bridge certainly is old, but I know little about it. I see. I'm not originally from here, you see. 
I moved to this village when I got married. Is there anyone else I can ask? Hmm, let's see. Someone older than my husband and I. That leaves only Elder Ye, or Old Man Su, who lives in the Sunset Hill. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. Are you that friend of Shen Hua's who came to town recently? Y yeah I knew it! As soon as I laid eyes on you! The rumors were true! You are cool with a slight bad boy feel about you. Wait, rumors? What's your name? I'm Hazuki. No, no, your first name! Oh, um, Ryo. Ryo, is it? I'll remember that. Excuse me. Yes, Ryo? Do you know where Mr. Su's house is? Right here. I'm Yachin Su. Can I help you? I'm looking for an old man named Mr. Su. Oh, you're looking for my grandfather then. The oldest of the Su's. His house is right over there. Got it. Thanks a lot. Come in. What is it now, eh? I have a question for you. You and everyone else. Uh, none of you would know anything if not for me. Go on. Tell me about the completion of the Verdant Bridge. Verdant Bridge? Is there anything you can tell me? Anything at all would help. Hmm, I don't get asked about it every day. But you look like the insistent type, so I'll tell you. I was just a boy, mind you. But I recall that an Imperial envoy was to come to the village. The bridge was built by the villagers as a way to welcome him. It was? Yes. The bridge you see today was built for the envoy's arrival. I remember it vividly. It was a hot summer's day, and the envoy's clothing was quite ostentatious. Why did the envoy come to Bai Lu? Hmm, I don't know. Nothing? <laughs> like I said, I was just a kid. Is there anyone else who might know more about it? Well, let me think. I'm pretty sure Suan was there. Where is Suan now? These days, I hear he hangs around the market. The market? Yes. But he's a bit of a drifter. I can't guarantee you'll find him there. Understood. Thank you. Hello there. Howdy, come on in. Excuse me, Granny? Um... Uh, Granny? Um... Ah, uh, she must be hard of hearing. Hey, 
Granny? <coughs> Excuse me. Gorgeous. Oh, young man, you're making me blush. I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? What? You're not here to buy anything? I'm really sorry, but it's important that I find him. He hasn't been by today. Where can I find him? You can ask away, but I don't have a clue where he lives or what he's doing. Oh, but I do recall him saying that Fung was an old friend of his. Fung? Are you talking about Grandmaster Fung? He's the one you should be talking to. Got it. Thanks a lot. Is he not home? Yes, hello? It's Hazuki. Ah, Ryo. Come in, lad. Grandmaster Fong, I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? Ah, Sun. I know him well. He's an old training partner of mine. Can you introduce me to him? Hmm. I believe Sun has taken up residence in the abandoned temple. The abandoned temple? I can't guarantee that you'll find him there, but... If you go, place some wine and steamed buns on the offertory box and hide until he appears. Got it. Thanks a lot. Don't forget the wine and buns! Place the liquor and buns on the offertory box and hide. He's very wary. Um, I heard about you from Grandmaster Fung. Fung, oh, eh? What do you want? <clears throat> There's something I'd like to ask you. Get one question. One. Got it? Hey, I need your help with something. Very well. I'll give you one question. Well, what do you want to know? Please, tell me about the completion of the Verdant Bridge. The Verdant Bridge? I must have been ten or so.
They sent an Imperial envoy here to Bailu. We built the bridge to welcome the Imperial envoy. I remember waiting near the bridge with Ye and Su to catch the envoy's arrival. We had to shove our way to the front, but what I saw was etched into my memory. Why was the envoy sent to Bai Lu? That's the question, isn't it? For a Phantom River Stone Mirror. What does a mirror have to do with this? That envoy was on a mission to get a mirror made by the greatest stonemason in China. They came by decree of the Emperor. And who was the stonemason? His name was Yuan Yushan, and he stood above the rest. He lived in Bailu. He was Yuan's grandfather. I see. So that's the connection. Hey. I need your help with something. Very well. I'll give you one question. Well, what do you want to know? I hear you're a contemporary of Grandmaster Feng. Feng, you say? Do you know the name Iwao Hazuki? Hazuki. And you are? My name is Dio Hazuki. Iwao was my father. <laughs> Shall we have a bout just to pass the time? Huh? What? You think I'm too old or something? No, not at all. Let's go. Quit daydreaming and hit me. A fly uh, could block what you're throwing at me. Are you even trying? Your moves are too sloppy. You're full of openings. Where did you learn these weak techniques? Are you ready to get serious now? What was that move? It's Bodgy Trend's signature move, the body check. Oh. So, you knew my father. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can tell me about my father? Yes, when I'm good and ready. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Leo. Yeah? I talked to Yen Xing's mother. Shenhua! Guiying, what's wrong? The thugs have been spotted in the hermit's nest. I'm worried about Yen Xing. Leo and I will go have a look tomorrow. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Leo. Let's go. Yeah. What's the hermit's nest like? It's certainly the most remote settlement in the village. Do you know the way to get there? Yeah. I went there once to look for Yan Xing. That's right. I hope he's okay. 
I hope so too. We should go as soon as possible. Yeah, but we can't rush in unprepared either. One of the thugs really packs a punch. Wait, you've seen them? I had a run-in with them at Yan Xing's house. I fought two of them off, but I took my eye off the third. They got the better of me in the end. Well, even monkeys fall from trees. Mm. I won't be caught off guard again. Hey, about the hermit's nest? Well, what about it? The residents there all seem pretty old. Yes, only elderly people live at the hermit's nest these days. If thugs show up in a place like that... Come on, we have to hurry. I'm with you. It looks like Yan Sheng is not our only concern. Right. We have to get to the hermit's nest. Liu? Yeah? Shenhua? You're amazing. I am? Thank you so much. For what? For helping everyone in the village. Ah. Oh. Those thugs have to be dealt with. What other choice do we have? I guess so. They are the link to our fathers. And the mirrors we'd been looking for all this time. Yes. I'm doing this for me as well. should have stayed inside. What he said. Damn it. I'll go knock on the door, then while he's distracted. trick would work on me.
Was I? You were out for two days. Uh, where did they go? They've made the hermit's nest their base while they look for the mirror. And Yen Xing? He's still holed up in the hermit's nest, but we've got to do something fast. Yeah, he needs our. Ria, don't. We don't have time. You have to rest. Let's think this through. I suppose. <laughs> 